John Moxley versus Penta El Zero Miedo. Remember when he was Penta Escuro for like two weeks? Yeah. He just gave up. So they're having a, th- This match is awesome. I don't want to. I love how, of all people, it was Renee that said that John was going to be facing Pentagon Black tonight. <laughs> I missed that. Or Pentagon Dark. You're white. <laughs> I was like, what? I, okay. She watched her Lucha Underground. Yeah. Yeah. So this match is awesome, and I don't want to downplay that or, or, or ignore that, but the commentary was hysterical because they're talking about Luchadors and Lucha Libre and the AAA show where uh, Penta put his mask on the line, and Shivani asks Taz to explain the significance of the masks to the Luchadors and how important that is. And Taz answers the question, and then Excalibur's like, you know, I'm right here in a mask. <laughs> we all have a good laugh at that. And then later... Uh, somebody hit a big giant suplex into the corner. I think it was Moxley. But Excalibur asks Taz, can you explain what it's like to get suplex like that? And if you want to ask anyone a question about suplexes, Taz is the guy you go to. But Taz basically just says, ask Shivani instead. I laughed so hard at all this. So the match was tons of fun. I did like in the first half, they had been, they had been wrestling for several minutes. And Moxley is going for the King Kong Lariat that nearly ended uh, Hangman Page's life last week. And he goes to throw it. And Moxley, or uh, Penta holds out his hand and says, stop. And Moxley does. <laughs> and he gives the Ciro Miedo thing, and Moxley flips him off. They keep wrestling. But this is how you counter the King Kong Lariat. You tell John Moxley, no. And he can't hit you with it then. So they had another good match. It also didn't have as much heat as you would think. I guess they didn't want to boo Penta, or they didn't want to boo Moxley either. So they it was, not like I said, not as much heat as you thought. They tease at one point a... Uh, Canadian destroyer running off the apron onto the stairs to the floor, which would be horrifying. I can't even imagine what monster even thought of that spot. Thank God they didn't actually do it. They just did a DDT on the stairs instead. Penta gets two with a package trial package powder ever back in the ring. He goes for a springboard, but Mox catches, catches him in midair with a boot to the stomach, hits the paradigm shift, rolls him over, hits the death rider, gets the win. That finish was awesome. They had done everything. Penta did his finish. Moxley kicked out. They went right to Moxley's finishes and got it done. They had done everything they needed to do. You like, know, this is a generalization, but there's there's two kinds of luchadors, Vinny. All right. Masked and unmasked. I see. Yeah, there's two other kinds as well. There's the uh, there's the kind like Phoenix that do a lot of flipping and high flying and right. crazy shit. Yeah. And then there's the ones like uh, Penta and Roosh and pretty well, much anybody old. Man. They just beat the shit out of each other. Kicking and punching. And man, John Moxley against these fighting luchadors is just like, <laughs> fuck me. He had that match with Roosh, which was great. And he had this match with Penta, which was great. And Penta does high flying. Right. But man, he'll stand. Not in, as much as Phoenix. He'll beat the shit out of you, too. He'd be perfectly happy to sit and there and trade strikes all day. Yes. God, I just thought this match was great. And we got, uh, thank God I don't have to hear this bullshit about how the paradigm shift and the Death Rider, one's only called this in Japan or whatever. They're different moves. I told you, nerds, yeah. the fucking paradigm shift is a DT and the Death Rider is elevated. Doesn't yep. matter if it's fucking New Japan or wherever, that's what they called it here because that's what it is. And a fucking senton is a Jeff Hardy fucking swanton bomb. But anyway... Then we had the big angle afterwards. So the big angle is Moxley is attacked by the firm. Penta disappears. Uh, we see more, all of them out there. Morrissey, Ethan Page. Uh, I've forgotten who all is in this. Moriarty. Uh, the guns are out there. They're all beating the hell out of Moxley. We go backstage to the Blackpool Combat Club locker room. It has been chained shut. So Claudio and Wheeler and Danielson can't lend a hand. MJF storms out. and He's at first conflicted. He doesn't know what to do. Because he told these guys, don't attack Moxley. I want him at 110% so he has no excuses. He threatened to fire Stokely if this happened. And he's conflicted, doesn't know what to do, goes backstage, finally goes charging down to the ring. He fires Stokely Hathaway, turns to Moxley and shouts something out. I missed it. Well, like, this is not what I wanted or something. But he, then he turns around and uh, Ethan actually boots him in the face and they put the boots to him. So when this started, I was certain, 100%, no doubt in my mind, that this was a trap by MJF at the firm. MJF was willing to take a beating to get Moxley to lower his guard, and they screw him later on down the road. But they kept beating him and beating him and beating him and hit him with the ego's edge, and they took him outside the ring, and Morrissey chokeslammed him through a table, and he was dead. I thought, okay, that's 
you know, in the world of pro wrestling, when you go through a table, you don't do that willingly under any circumstances. That is the the death spot. So it appears now I'm convinced, at least, that the firm legit turned on MJF. I guess he is a full babyface now, and uh, we'll see where they go from here. Well, here's the deal. I love this storyline, and I'm going to tell you why. So, uh, as I mentioned on Observer Live today, there are folks in AEW that 100% are pushing for MGF to go full babyface. They think the crowd wants it. They've cheered him since he came back. Why not? What what what's what's the hurt if he goes full babyface? It ends up not working great. You just turn him heel again, okay? But they think that this guy could be a massive, massive babyface star. So this could very well have been a full babyface turn for MJF, and that's where we're going here. Which you know I'm all for trying it. There's nothing wrong with trying it. You know I, I'm not sure he's thrilled at the idea of going full babyface because. You know, I don't know if he's ever had a babyface run in his whole career. I could be wrong. But uh, it would be certainly, you know, he's his forte is being a fantastic heel, the top heel in all of AEW. So this would be a big change for him to go babyface. So the other option is that it's all a swerve, and he's going to fuck the fans, and he's going to fuck Moxley, and he's going to go full heel. Okay, now I was thinking about this today. Yeah, you know you know where they do the uh, uh, the horseman beatdown, right? Where the tag match, you do the tag match, and then you know all three are going to turn on one guy. We've seen it a million times, and whenever I see a match like that, the guy who is going to turn, I always hate when he gets in there, and then you know the other team is beating him up for half the match, right? And then he turns at the end. Because because that swerve is like, you why did you just not why don't you just uh, all beat on the guy at the begin why did you take a fucking beating to do the horseman beatdown when you could have just had the guy start let him take a fucking beating and then when he goes to tag you you beat his ass anytime there's a swerve or like, there's like a, a plot that involves one of the plotters getting their fucking ass kicked yes. it's always stupid okay mm-hmm. but but in this case and this case maybe only mjf has said repeatedly that he's the devil right yeah said that over and over and the famous line is the greatest trick the devil ever played was convincing you that he didn't exist so what lengths would the devil go to to convince you that he didn't exist well he'd get his fucking ass kicked by the entire firm He'd have them beat the shit out of him, put him through the fucking table, light him on fucking fire. He'd do anything to convince you that he does not exist so he can fuck you because he's the devil. So in this case, I think I actually would be okay with this all being a plot that involves self-massacre to get over on John Moxley and the fans in the end. But I don't know which way they're going to go. So... We'll see. we'll see. But I love that you could go either way. Mm-hmm. If it were me, I would go the babyface way. I'd try it. What what what's 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 what could go wrong? It's not like you don't have other heels. It's not like Steve Austin in in uh, two thousand one where they had no other fucking top babyface because The Rock left to make movies and they were fucked. You have other heels. If it doesn't work out as a top baby face, you have other baby faces. There's literally nothing that can go wrong with trying. So I think they should try. I think this should be the full baby face turn. And we'll see. What part do you love about this job, Granny? Nothing. When you when you irritate me, <laughs> you make me mad. I I guess seeing seeing you guys. When you needle me. me. Quit yeah. talking over me. Sorry. If Granny, this person asks, could leave only one thing in her will. For Brian, <laughs> <laughs> what would it be? Rufus versus Roman Reigns, 2016. Rufus, Rufus on barricade. Rufus comes back, drops Reigns on the top rope. Rufus has a 
temper tantrum because only two count. Do you know that we put a clip of you on the internet last week? And these people on the internet are so dumb that they thought that we hired an actor to play you. No. Mm-hmm. Huh? Eh, forget about it. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.